Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn automatic date table with additional columns in DAX. Okay, please like, comment, and subscribe my channel. Okay, let's go. For any data analysis project, three questions are mandatory to ask. One, what happened? Where are we now? What are we going to do? That means what happened? It's our historical information. Where are we now? It's our current stage information. What are we going to do? That means forecasted information. So you can observe everything is related to date and time. Using DAX, we can create an automatic date table with all necessary columns. Let's do that in our Power BI desktop. At first, I have imported this US Superstore data, okay? Where I have all those columns like uh, order date, ship date, everything. Now, I want to create a date table. How will I do that? First, you need to go this data view and you need to, as I've already created, so you need to go to this, click on this new table. Then, this is the formula. By default, you can use two formula. One is calendar, another is calendar auto. Cal for the calendar function, you may need to mention one start date and end date. Now, if you are going to use this calendar auto function and if you are not passing any parameter, so it will take as a reference uh, for the data population from this uh, existing data model. That means I have already imported this US Superstore data where I have this date column, order date and ship date. Now, if I am going to use only this calendar auto function, then only one date column will be created. That means only one column will be there, this column. But what I have done, I have used add columns function and within that add column function, I have used calendar auto function as well as year, quarter number, quarter, month number, month, weekday number, weekday, year month number and all other columns information. Okay, so that at a time I can run this uh, uh, expression and all other necessary columns will be created. Now. If I want to add some more extra column, okay, which can be helpful for my future reporting. For example, I have created one days from today. That means uh, it will calculate today's date from the existing date. This is our current uh, existing date and from the today's date. So it will uh, give, give us the difference between two dates okay and now if i want to calculate some uh, the date for week starting if it is sunday then date will be calculated using this weekday function this is also a tax function and if it is start with monday there i can use this expression another uh, very interesting function is is working day we all know that monday to friday is our working days but for some report, maybe I need to uh, find out some uh, information only for uh, working days. Then how will I calculate? You can calculate this. For example, if it is Friday, 1. Saturday, 0. Sunday, 0. Again, Monday, 1. So using this uh, expression, you can find out whether this day is working day or weekend. So in this way, we can understood that how we can create automatic date table and some additional helpful columns. Now I'll show you another example. In your data model, if you have multiple date column, what does it mean by this? For example, this superstore data, I have order date column and I have ship date column. Now, if I'm going to use only one date table, then how will I provide the information for ordered sales or ship, no, ship amount sales? How will I do that? Let me show you one example. How will I do that? Here you can observe, first of all, this is my active relationship. Okay, yeah, I feel 
I hope you are aware of that active relationship and this is our inactive relationship. Now I will show you I have created two calculated measure okay one is total ordered sales that is simply uh, some I am using the sum function of this uh, sales value. If you can observe this measure is calculated based on our active relationship with the date column. Now I will show you how I have created this total shift cells. For this I have used calculate function. Within that calculate function sum is there and use relationship. Use relationship is handling the inactive relationship between this cells table and this date table where shifted is the inactive relationship column from our cells information. So if you can observe, I have selected year, month and uh, total order cells and total shift cells. Now you can observe the data is varying. That means it's calculated in a proper uh, relationship. Now here one date table solving our purpose. But for every measure, I have to create this duplicate measures. Okay, today for this is now sales then profit also, then discount. So every time I have to create two measures for ev every uh, fact column. So there is another options. What is that? I can create this date table twice. That means duplicating the date table. One table will be denoted as a ordered date table. Another table will be denoted as a shifted table. Okay. So this is joining with the shift date and this is joining with the order date. Now you can distinguish all those columns using this order as a prefix and shipment as a prefix as well as in the data also you can add it some prefix value or suffix value. Okay, let me show you one report. Here you can observe I have created this ordered year. This is a ordered year and this is a shift year. Okay, so because and but you cannot identify this uh, whether this, this is a part of uh, ship date or this is a part of order date. So you can add some prefix here as a um, sh or you can add some prefix here also as, as a order date or od or something like that. In this way also you can handle this two date problem in your data model. I hope you like this uh, tutorial. Please comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.